Welcome everyone, this is Owen with Shift Click Learn. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created a cute puppy in Inkscape. So let's hop right into it. Alrighty, so here's the puppy dog that I'm going to be drawing. As you can see, it has four colors. It has a light brown, a brown, a dark brown, and a black. Now if you want these colors, the exact RBG and hex codes are down in the description. Okay, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to switch over to Inkscape and start by drawing the head. So I'm going to grab the circle tool and draw a kind of a just a good rounded circle. And I will adjust this later. I'm going to change this color to this brown right here in the middle, this kind of normal brownish. Then I'm going to click on this object and go path, object to path. Now what that will do is let us adjust the nodes. So what I'm going to do now is do the edit path by nodes tool and click on this head. And I'm going to kind of adjust it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Switching it over right here. There we go. So now I'm gonna start drawing the ears. I'm just gonna, it's gonna start off as an oval shape. I'm gonna do the same thing as the head. I'm gonna go object, I'm sorry, path, object to path. And then I'm going to click this edit path by nodes tool. And I'm actually going to shrink this down a little bit and I'm going to select this node and move it over like this. And then maybe like this too on this node. Then I'm going to I drop this light color right here, like that. So that's the ear. And definitely going to make this a little bit smaller. Gonna keep editing the nodes because I want it to be more of a floppy curved shape almost. So that looks pretty good, but I wanna wanna smooth it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna click control on that. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted. So, I may just have to manually adjust this. I don't like that. That looks pretty good. I like that, but I do want it to be thicker now. There we go. Something like that. that oh, that's bad looking. But I'm going to control tap that. I'm actually going to go through all these and just click control on them. And that will help me kind of smooth it out. And then this node I'm really not happy with how it's it's too much too I don't know, it's much too kind of weird shaped. So on the other one is actually much thicker. So it's kind of like as you can see over here, it's a lot more thick kind of roundish shape. So I'm I want to make it a little bit more round. Ooh, I'm going to control hit this. Ooh, that's starting to look better. And then also, I want to add a node here by double clicking. Actually, I'm going to add a node here too. Now I'm going to select this one and select this one. Ooh, ooh, that's looking better. So if you look over here, it's a little bit more of a a smaller face, big ears. That's kind of more. So maybe not that big, but it's more of like that. And then I want to see how curved it is. So it's more of a, it's actually less curvy than what I have here. It's more of just like that. So now I'm going to copy and paste this by holding control D. I'm going to flip this horizontally by kick, clicking this button. I'm going to move it over here. Now this looks more like a kind of a, I don't know. It looks pretty good. Could be better. I do like the... I do like to go in and kind of change up the nodes a bit just to make it look unique just because obviously the ears aren't going to be exactly the same in real life. Just to add it, a, add a little bit of realisticness and then I also do just like tweaking it. Ooh, that looks better. Like that. That's kind of more what I was going for. Then. So it's more of a flat, it's more of a flat top on this head. 
Now, I don't care it be an exact copy, but I do want it to be similar. So now I want to add the muzzle, kind of this part right here. This really adds a dog look to it. Now to do this, I'm just going to draw two circles. And they're gonna be the same color as the ear. Now it's gonna be something like this. Then it's gonna be a square in between this. Something like that, it doesn't have to be exact. And then like that. And then I do want this square to be a tad bit thicker, like. Something like that, that looks good. Then I'm gonna shift click all these and go path union. And this will make them one object. So that means we can we can adjust these nodes. So what I'm gonna do is hit control on these ones and it should try to help and kind of curve it out a little bit. So, and then maybe I'll delete them and that will really give you a nice curve. Then I'm gonna control tap these because it really sharpens the edge. Same with over here, I'm gonna delete these nodes. Then I'm gonna hit control on these ones. It's like that. Then I'm gonna adjust these by pulling these handles. Kinda like that, that looks really good. That's starting to look more like a dog muscle. Whoa, not a muscle, sorry, a dog muzzle. That kinda looks good. So now if we plop that on there, that does look somewhat like a dog muzzle kind of like kind of like that so now I'm gonna draw the eyes which the eyes are actually a lot easier than you might think it's just actually a circle so I'm gonna click the circle tool and click and drag for to make a circle then I'm going to eye drop this black color and that's the eyes I mean the eyes are actually really simple as you can see on this other one they're just big black eyes so and they're also much bigger they're not small so like that. I'm gonna duplicate this by holding Control D, like that. Cool, just like that. So now I'm gonna add the mouth, which the mouth is just a kind of a W, the nose, and then the tongue. Now what I'm gonna first start off by is drawing the U shape. I'm gonna click this visor tool, and I'm just going to click, hold Control goes and it should straighten out the line then click then click and drag on this next one and make a curve shape then push enter and then we can tweak it by double clicking it or clicking this edit path by node tool I'm gonna control hit that and that should kind of smooth it out then I'm gonna do this kind of just smooth it out a lot more just make it more natural then I'm going to like right there that doesn't look natural it kind of has a unnatural feel to it that looks much more natural now I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm going to flip this horizontally like that and then kind of put these together now since they're curved at the top it's kind of gonna be hard to make it come together better which is where the nose comes in as you can see right here it kind of covers up that top it also is not it's not this curve so what I'm gonna do is actually just shrink this in a little bit like that so now I'm gonna draw the nose by drawing a square and then I'm gonna do path object to path I'm going to edit the nodes and I'm just going to delete this node right here and snap these two together to make a perfect triangle then I'm going to hold control so it stays on the same y-axis and do that and move it to the middle then lastly I'm just going to control tap that one and then flip this hor vertically actually it's like that and then for the last thing because the top isn't actually a, it's not a perfect line I'm just going to grab this and turn it up like that now that looks better so there, there's like a kind of a dog nose then I'm gonna draw the tongue by just grabbing this visor tool and drawing a crude tongue clicking and dragging click click and then I'm gonna kind of follow this outline to keep it and this is also going to be black it's not gonna have a stroke 
So I'm going to click this fill, then X out this, the stroke. Then I'm going to control hit this like that. Now that looks like a little doggy tongue. I'm going to select this all, hold control, and size this up and put it on the muzzle. And then right here, I also want this to be thicker, so I'm going to shift click them, change this to pixels, and make their stroke much, much bigger. And then maybe adjust the tongue a bit. Ooh, that, that's starting to look better. So now I'm gonna kind of fine tune this. Now this kind of, this really is looking good, except this nose doesn't feel big enough to me. So I'm just gonna grab these handles and adjust them. Cause I don't know, I've always liked big dogs with big noses and big eyes. They look cute. Gonna kind of adjust this to put that in the middle. And then this tongue, I want it to be a little more like that. So maybe like that. That looks a little better. So that's starting to come together. So I want the body now. Now the body is just kind of to the side. So I'm just going to draw a oval and click this button right here and it'll make it go to back. And then I'm going to click fill and I drop the same color. Oh, I'm sorry. This color down here, this dark color. Now that's just to add kind of a shadow. As you can see over here, it's a little, almost like a, it's a oval where the body is. I kind of wanted this dog to look like a dash hound or like a wiener dog, something like that. I'm not sure what it's technically called, but something like that. And now, since these have legs, th these legs right here are actually the exact same color as the head. So, I'm just going to draw a bunch of circles for the legs. So I'm going to change the color to the head and I'm just going to adjust this one like this, copy and paste it by holding control D and do that for all of them. Now since this is more of a front facing one, I only show one of the back legs and two of the front legs just to add a little bit more realistic. And I'm gonna make them all go back by holding page down or clicking this button. And I'm actually going to delete them because I want them all to be semi the same. And I'm going to click path, object to path. And I'm going to click this node tool. And I'm just going to kind of change this node up to make it look somewhat like a paw. <laughs> But obviously this is a cartoon drawing, so it's not ultra realistic or anything like that. I'm going to double click it and kind of uh, tweak it a little bit. That's starting to look better, maybe a little bigger. There we go, that looks good. Then I'm gonna duplicate them by holding Control D and duplicate another one for the back. Then I'm gonna shift click them and make them all go to behind the wiener dog's body. And the end of the wiener dog's body is actually covered up by the ear. So I'm going to do the same thing I did for all the other ones. I'm going to click path and do object to path. Then double click them or click this guy. And I'm just going to add a couple nodes and just adjust them. Because I want the, the body, it wouldn't be a perfect circle. Kind of like that. That looks good. Adjust that. Then I'm going to move this little stubby leg and rotate it a bit and move this guy like this. That's starting to look better. So now I want to draw the tail. To do this, I'm just going to grab a circle and then I'm going to go path, object to path. Then I'm going to just kind of mess around with this and try to get it to how I like it. Now the tail on this other one is down because I couldn't get it to what I want. I just, I had a lot of trouble with the tail. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can have a better time this this time. So I'm gonna do page down to make that go to back. <laughs> that looks horrible. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this down. That doesn't look so bad, but it still looks horrible. So maybe like that, something like that. It still needs to be shorter. Maybe I can make it go up. Hey, that looks kind of good. 
You know what? I may change it up a little bit. I'm making it gonna. I'm gonna make it go up. Actually, you know, I I still like it down. It still needs to be a little more curved. So I'm gonna select these two nodes and curve it down. Ooh, man, this is actually going easier and better than it was last time. In my opinion, that almost looks better than that other one. To be honest with you, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna adjust these eyes, and that should be it. Well guys, I think that's it. Really appreciate you taking the time to check this video out. Hit the like button, and please consider subscribing so that you won't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks again for watching.